In today's video, we are going to continue building out our super easy 100% local rag with Ulama. So today I thought I wanted to venture into emails. So I kind of wanted for a long time now to kind of download all my private emails and I can talk to them 100% locally offline, right? So basically what I set up is that now I can download the emails I want from Gmail and I also have an email account on Outlook. So I kind of set this up so we can use both. Uh, let me just show you quickly how we can use this now. So uh, I set up two different options. The first one is that we can just give like a keyword as an argument and search for all emails that have this keyword in the body. So when I run this now, you can see we are searching for uh, in Gmail. We found one email containing Anthropic and we found 17 emails containing the keyword Anthropic. And if we go to our vault here now, you can see all of this was embedded here uh, in a good chunk size of around 1000 characters. And this means now that we can start asking these questions, right? But I also wanted to catch the emails from the last 10 days. So I just set like a start date it, 1st of May. And the end date is 10th of May. So I can run this too. And hopefully now we can get all the emails inside that period. So we found 13 on Gmail. 113 emails on Outlook from, yeah, that date time range, right? Okay, so that downloaded all those emails. When we go back to our vault now and we reload it, you can see we added a bunch of more emails here that are embedded. And now let me just show you quickly how we can actually use this now to start asking questions, right? So if we just go back to our terminal, you can see now I can add something called dash dash clear cache because I added a cache now so we don't have to generate embeddings every single time we use this. So if we run this now, you can see we are starting here now to kind of load in configuration. Clearing the embeddings and loading the content, so no embeddings found. We are generating new embeddings using kind of our embeddings models from Olama, right? So I'm just gonna let this run for a while. All our emails should be embedded, right? And then we can start asking questions. So I can just go, can you summarize what me and Per did talk about, about the topic Screenbar 2.0? So you can see here, I'm pulling in all the emails from that conversation. And hopefully we can get like a summarization here. So you can see, it seems that, uh, yeah, you talked about uh, intro to Mistral uh, AI developing apps, intro to fine tuning, Scrum V2 beta. And yeah, we were talking about this. So you can kind of see, I extracted this small summarization from all of the emails I had with Per talking about uh, Scrum And if we exit this conversation and run it again now, you can see we are saving some time because we are loading our embeddings. And now we are kind of straight in here to asking questions because we kind of saved, yeah, our embeddings in this cache so we save some time we don't have to load all embeddings every single time we fire this up again right but remember if you add more to your vault then you gotta redo the embeddings and the cache right so yeah that is kind of how the system works let's take a quick look at our code and how we set this up because this is a two-part uh, operation because the first thing we want to do is collect all of our emails right and chunk them and strip them from all of these weird characters that uh, follows along with these emails. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. I got some help from GPT-4 to try to strip all this and get it as clean as possible. So when we look at all the extracted text from our emails here, it should be pretty clean. Uh, but I had some issues like in the beginning, there was a lot of weird stuff. But you can of course play around with this. Uh, but you can see here in our chunk text uh, function that we use a lot of this uh, remove sequences and white space and we use some, uh, I think it was uh, LXML to try to remove all of these weird things you get from these emails. I'm no expert in this, but I think GPT-4 did a pretty good job of this. And of course, after we have cleaned uh, up all of this and chunked it, we're going to save it to our vault. Uh, and get text from HTML. That is also something we use to kind of clean this up. And we're going to save it as plain text with uh, uh, into our vault, right? To try to embed this. And kind of the search email, search and process emails function. So this is kind of where I set this up to, we can both use Gmail and Outlook. And in our .env, we just want to feed in kind of our Gmail username and password our Outlook username and our password, right? So pretty simple setup. Uh, the only thing with Gmail is that we got to do something additional to get this working. We're going to use something called App Password. So I'm going to show you how we can set this up. So how I did this is I actually logged into the Gmail account I want to use uh, on my script, right? And you can see here, uh, App 
password created. So that was May 10th. So how I actually did this, I just found this link. So I'm gonna leave it a link in the description below if you wanna try it out. It's just something called app passwords. It's like my account google.com slash app passwords. And here you can kind of create a new app and a specific password. So when you uh, create your app name here, you will get like a secure password. I think it's 16 characters that you can actually use to log into your email account. So that worked for me. Hopefully this will work for you too. And if we go back to our script uh, for the G Outlook, it was easier. We are just using this eampmail.outlook uh, uh, server here, I guess. And I just set my username and password. And that was pretty much all I had to do to get access to and my inbox. So I guess you can select other things here. You can probably select, uh, yeah, your saved emails or something. I haven't looked into that. I only selected my inbox here. Uh, for me, it's been working pretty good. And yeah, there are other things too, uh, I guess. Yeah, I kind of showed you this start and end date, I guess. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do here to kind of customize what emails you want to collect, right? And the other part of the system is, of course, running the Ulama with the embeddings models to actually talk to our emails, right? So uh, I set up a few different things you can adjust here. Uh, in kind of the base setup now, we are using, I think it's Llama 3 as our default model. But I added something that you can do dash dash model to kind of select if you wanted to do a different kind of model from Ulama. I tested out and that seemed to work. Yeah, we have the clear cache uh, configuration. And if you want a different config file instead of the default one, I guess you can add that. If you take a look at the config file, we basically have our vault.txt, our embeddings file, uh, our model, so Llama3, our top K. So remember, you can adjust top K to get more emails. I think I would kind of want to have it at 7. We have our system message in our config file, our base URL and our API key. That doesn't really matter too much, I guess. And that is kind of how I set this up here. And if we scroll down here, yeah, I think we kind of gone through everything. This is working kind of exactly the way as our local rag. But now we are kind of feeding our emails right into our uh, uh, embedding space or what you want to call it. Uh, but of course you can mix different content with your emails. This is totally up to you because everything is loading from the vault.txt file. So you can mix different timelines of emails. You can different keywords so that is basically how you want to configure this uh, and I would love to see some updates uh, we can contribute to the repo if you have some good ideas how we can improve this just make a pull request or something and yeah an issue or something and maybe we can fix it to make this more yeah dynamic and usable for everyone if you have a good ID for this uh, so I think it's pretty cool and I've been really happy with it so yeah, so the one thing I'm not 100% sure of because I'm no cybersecurity expert or something like that. I don't know so much about it. So if you for some reason think this system is not secure, please let me know. Uh, can we fix it? If not, maybe I just have to take it down if, the, if your mails are being compromised in some kind of way using these libraries like um, email and uh, eamp and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure about this. So please let me know. Uh, but to finish up the video, let's test it a bit more, see what we can do with it. And yeah. Okay, so let's say I wanted to start a new search. So I just want to remove all the things we have collected, right? All the emails that we have embedded. Let's fire up the terminal. So next week I'm going to the Taylor Swift concert. So let's say I wanted to collect all my emails I have on this topic. So Taylor Swift. So let me try that. So here we're just going to do the dash dash keyword Taylor Swift. And you can see we find two emails in our Gmail. We found 33 emails in our Outlook mail. And yeah, all of these are downloaded. And when we load this now, you can see everything is here. Okay, great. And now we kind of want to clear this. We want to go email rag. We want to clear our cache, right? Because that is from our previous loaded embeddings. So we clear this, we are generating new embeddings, and hopefully we can start asking some questions. So let's just ask, where is the venue for the concert? Okay, so you can see, according to the text, the venue for the concert is Friends Arena in Stockholm. There are three dates mentioned, so May 17, 18, and 19. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we can also collect emails by doing like a start date and an end date, and also add a keyword. So I want to collect all my emails from... Uh, 1st of May to 10th of May, that contains the keyword NVIDIA, okay? So let's run that. 
you can see in Gmail we found no mail emails in Outlook we found three emails okay that's great let's open up this uh, yeah okay perfect so we found some emails that and then we kind of want to clear our cache again right and then we're gonna start asking questions so what we can do now is basically just uh, summarize all my emails please because we're gonna pull in all emails right and yeah, here you can see I have a perfect summarization of all my emails containing the NVIDIA keyword from May. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you this, of course. But yeah, that's just the way it is. But uh, of course, this is meant to be private. So I'm going to keep it like that. But uh, yeah, you kind of get the point here. So yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. And hopefully you will like this new feature too. Just in case you didn't know, if you become a member of my YouTube channel, find a link in the description, you will get access to our community Discord and our community GitHub repo. So every video I'm gonna select a member's repo that we're gonna give some attention in this video. So today we're gonna look at what is, uh, he has created like this LLM text analyzer, pretty cool concept actually. So yeah, uh, I have installed this, Let's let me show you quickly how this works. So I'm going to leave a link to this repo in the description if you want to try it out yourself. So basically this is a very simple setup that you can use Ulama 100% locally to summarize your text files. So if we run this now, python app.py, we will get this local IP here. So here we can kind of uh, insert our text files. We can select our model. So let's say Llama 3 latest. And we have some summary, let's say text summary. And we have a question here, so I'm just going to leave it default. So let me just upload a file. Okay, so you can see the text from the file here. Then, finally, if you want to summarize this, all you have to do is click submit. Uh, and that is basically it, so definitely go check this out. Pretty cool from our members. And yeah, that is kind of one of the perks you get if you become a member of the channel. Then you can promote your uh, different GitHub repos here. And yeah, you can get some more attention to it if that's something you are looking for. And you can kind of see from previous video, we featured one of my other members GitHub repo. And you can see he got a big bump in stars and stuff on his repo uh, after we featured it in this video. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool thing. And uh, if you want to do this, uh, I'm happy to do this for my members. And I just think it's fun to kind of show... Uh, what other people are working on in this space too. So yeah, that is basically what I wanted to show you. I'm going to update this repo now so you can go try it out for yourself. Uh, leave a star uh, if you like this. And if you have any contributions, just do a pull request or some issues. And I will take a look at it. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. A uh, very exciting day tomorrow. So watch out for the OpenAI stream. I'm probably going to do a video on it if it's very interesting. And maybe the two following videos will be about what they will release. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, other than that, probably see you tomorrow, if not on Wednesday. Have a great uh, Sunday and I'll see you again soon.